Hello, my name is Maxine Bell. I'm an associate with Practice Solutions and I'm also the writer of the latest blog on Blue Monday, which is about mental health awareness. And we thought it would be fun for me to share the tips that I gave in the blog on a little bit short video for you. If you'd like to know a bit more about me, do check out my bio on the Practice Solutions website. But here are the tips. So the first tip is to check in. Check in with yourself honestly, and most importantly, with compassion. It's okay to have a bad day, and most of us from experience know that these days do pass and there are better days coming. So if you're having a bad day, be kind to yourself, be compassionate, be understanding. Um, there can often be reasons for that, and be patient with yourself as well. But just slow down in the day, just check in how you're feeling, so that you're not reacting to things, but that you're actually being really present with yourself and doing what's best for yourself. The second tip is linked to that, which is self-care. Now self-care, I've learned, takes many, many forms. Um, it might be for you today having a relaxing bath. It might be going for a walk. It might be setting boundaries at work, talking to your boss about your workload that's um, giving you lots of stress. And it could be talking to friends, positive friends, friends that are positive um, and that you feel supported by. And it could be turning your phone off. It could be what you're eating. It could be a number of things, but just again, slow down and see where am I caring for myself and where am I not caring for myself? The third tip is to access help. Um, we all need help. Nobody um, manages life alone. So don't be too self-reliant, don't be afraid to talk to people that you trust, it could be friends or family, or it may be outside help. There are lots of really good helplines out there, such as Mind and Samaritans, um, who will be happy to chat to you about anything that you feel you need help with. Or go to your GP and have a chat with them and see if it's recommended or that you feel you would like to access local mental health services. So get help. The fourth tip is to do a gratitude diary. Now, some people think this is a fluffy thing to do, but I don't think it is at all. Um, it's very easy, especially with all the news that comes at us the last couple of years, to forget the positives in life and forget the positives in our own life. So it could be just something small that you feel grateful for, a cup of tea that you're drinking at the moment that feels warm and nurturing to you, um, it could be something even bigger, some money you might have won, or a promotion at work. It could be the friend or a family member, it could be your dog. But it's really good to acknowledge the things that you're grateful for. So I'm really grateful for this blue sky today, which has made my video a bit more cheerful, which is very appropriate for Blue Monday, I think. So yeah, a gratitude diary, and you can keep that in a book form or on your phone, it doesn't really matter. And then the fifth one, which is a very obvious one and one of the reasons why I'm filming this outside, is to connect with nature. We are part of this world um, and we are connected to it and it's really important to go out in nature and there's lots of research now proving um, how effective going out in nature is for us. So you can come down to a place like this or it could be your local park or it could be some house plants you have or a picture of somewhere beautiful that you might have seen on social media. Slow down, take a look at it, breathe it in, allow yourself to have a sense of awe and wonder about the beauty in the natural world around you. And I find sometimes that helps me connect to the um, beauty I have in myself or it helps me just have time to feel my thoughts and feel my emotions freely without any expectation or just switch off from it all. So connecting with nature is a really good one. And then the sixth one is to be creative and have, have playtime. So that could be writing a poem, that could be sitting down with your kids and hand painting, or hand painting on your own. Um, I think finger painting is great fun. It could be getting out some felt tips and just doodling and drawing. Um, it could be building something. It doesn't really matter. It could even be for you coming up with a design made out of numbers it's what feels right for you, but I think it's a natural part of humanity and we can sometimes, particularly as adults, forget that we're allowed to play and allowed to be creative. So find something that suits you um, or just experiment and have some playtime and be creative. 
And then the final one, which I've added on top of the ones I've put in the blog, is journaling. That's been something I've done since I was a teenager on and off, and I find it really therapeutic. I wake up in the morning or sometimes at night and just write what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking. There's no order to it. No one's checking my spellings. Sometimes I might be so upset I can't necessarily get long passages out, so I just write words down or do little doodles or sketches. It's my journal. It's your journal. You can do it in any way you want. You can stick things in it, whatever works for you. But get out what you're feeling. Um, gives you, sometimes it gives you a points of reflection or insights that you didn't even know were there. So I recommend journaling really um, a lot. So that's my seven tips. Check in, take care of yourself, access help, create a gratitude diary, connect with nature, be creative and enjoy journaling. I hope that helps. Take care. Bye.